Yo, what's good? It's your boy DJ Fat Mac. I'm here with you with another video today, but this is a quickie, a real quick one. It's a real quick wedding DJ tip, and it's all about the preparation before you walk into the gig for the very first time, especially for a wedding venue, okay? So let's get into it. Like, subscribe, and share. Come on. Yup, it's your boy DJ Fat Mac, Nick with Fat Mix Productions. With you today for a real quickie wedding DJ tip. It's all about the event preparation before you walk into the gig for the very first time. So this is meant for mostly if you've never been to a venue before and you're walking into this venue for the very first time, it's some things that I think you should be doing right beforehand and one of the main things that you should be doing is getting the contact information of the person who's over the venue not necessarily the manager the ceo or anything like that but whoever your client has been contacting from the from point a to point z so far so you get their phone number of course their name email address and all that great stuff i always prefer to call them introduce myself over the phone who I'm going to be DJing the event for and things like that. And also in that phone call, I want to set up a meeting time to come visit the venue and also to get to know the event manager personally. So we both can be on one accord at the same time. So like I said, especially if they never met you before, they don't know who you are. They don't know anything about your company. So that's a perfect time to kind of pitch to them who are you when you meet them face to face give them some business cards because you know so they can have so any clients coming in they say hey we got everything else we need to look for a dj well i know a great professional wedding dj here you go right so you able to do that all before that day because that day is going to be very hectic and trying to introduce yourself and sell yourself you don't want to do all that the day of. You don't want to do all that the day of. That's uh, introduction and all that you want to get out beforehand. Maybe, you know, it's like, hey, ask them what's a good slow day for you. Is it a Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever the case may be. Go into that event venue and start taking a tour of the space. Tell them how lovely everything is. And also find out exactly for your event where you're going to be set up at. If it's something that's always common or they're changing the room around just strictly for that couple, that is awesome. So you want to know exactly where to go and place the DJ. So if you remember in our last video, if you didn't um, check out the card that's right here, that check out the last video about where we talked about where to place the DJ. So if you know you're going to be set up in the middle of the floor, right in front of the dance floor and things like that, that's awesome. That's probably the prime real estate when it comes to DJs, especially at weddings or any private events, okay? Um, or, unfortunately, will you be set up in a corner? You know, are you going to have tables in front of you? Are you going to be in not a great position that you really would prefer to be in? You want to know that beforehand going into the event. So, you know, mentally, you was like, oh, I'm going to be set up in a bad spot. It is what it is. We're going to make it do what it do. Also, knowing where you're going to be set up is knowing that if you're going to need more equipment. Maybe you're going to need more speakers because the event uh, space, that reception hall is actually bigger than you thought it was going to be. Or are you having too much that you're going to bring? Your client may order everything your premium package whatever your premium package is they ordered everything they want you to bring out the moving heads they want you to bring out dancing on the cloud a monogram up lighting you know all these other speakers and then you find out that the event space is about this big and you can't bring all that so you might have to renegotiate whatever you need to do with your clients whatever so i just wanted to give you that real quickie Real quickie, just to let you know more about more wedding DJ event planning um, things that we got going on on this channel, okay? So, end of the day, make sure you like this video, comment down below on new videos that you want to see that could be coming out, or also comment down below what you do to prep for your weddings, okay? 
So cool, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can be notified of any new videos that's dropping fire on this channel, okay? So if nothing else, make sure you always remember music is life, life is music, and keep trusting the process. Pray, DJ, grind, repeat. Let's go. All you do is spin records, that's all you do. Who you think it is, DJ? Wait. Hey, hey.